G'day Playmates and uh, welcome to uh, another vid on uh, Transim World and um, we're uh, going to choose the uh, new DLC, uh, the Great Western Railway. Uh, this particular DLC runs between London Paddington and uh, Reddington and <laughs> Reading. <laughs> Reddington, <laughs> Reading. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let us go into services and let's spawn in walking and let's. Uh, we're gonna go for an evening, uh, a night run. So I think I might go with winter. maybe winter clear um, yeah I think that's the way to go uh, okay we are looking for Slough Langley Slough uh, okay so we're gonna spawn in at Slough and uh, at Twenty three fifteen, and there is a reason for that which I will go through. Okay, so um, let's start this up. And we'll be uh, running this the BR class one six six. We're just uh, cycling through the splash screens till we spawn in. Uh, I haven't been playing this for just about over a month now. Um, that's because I had some problems with it. Uh, the game was very unstable and in fact it was so unstable it became unplayable um, so I um, rather than wait for the next patch I put a ticket in with dovetail uh, okay let's uh, while I'm talking about that we need to move to platform platforms one and two Okay, that that's not our train. Um, yeah, so I uh, put a ticket in, forgive the pun, uh, with Dovetail Games, and they were uh, they were quite helpful. It was a long, drawn-out process uh, with lots of things to sort of do, but uh, anyway. Um, a day or so ago, uh, a new um, patch came up on Steam, and lo and behold, uh, it fixed my game. Uh, so I didn't actually fix the tickets, so whether or not uh, it was a coincidence, I do not know. But the bottom line is, I'm back playing it. Okay, all these people getting off a train service. Let's just come in to platform one. Normally, you uh, you find the up passenger or two. Oh, yep, yeah, stuck. And <laughs> true to form. Hello, lads. Here, what's going on here then, eh? Cool, blimey. What are you doing down here? 
Hey, do what? Do what? Inspecting the train, are we? Go oh, blimey. Okay, what we got here? Uh, okay. Poor old dovetail games. It's hard work getting these passengers to to uh, to behave properly. Anyway, okay, down to business. Uh, let us go to the timetable. Uh, okay. We are going to do service number 5A98. And we'll be picking this up at Slough, platform 2, uh, at 2328, uh, which is the reason why I spawned in at 2315. Uh, then we'll be taking this via Twyford to Reading. We've got to get there by 2341. And then we'll be taking it uh, through the train wash and then we'll be putting it to sleep at the depot at 2344. Um, so uh, this is a fairly short run which is the reason why I've put it together uh, because uh, it's one of the shorter runs and it's not a bad one. Uh, okay let's go back to um, back to the platform uh, okay, so I think what we might do while we um, while we uh, wait for our train to come in, it I think it will be coming in from the west. Um, so it'll be a terminating service here at Slough, uh, and then I'll be hopping in the cab and taking it back out west again so um, oh, uh, what's that? oh I get oops oh dear yeah. you all right yeah okay Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so where were we? Yep, here we go. Uh, okay, the reason why we couldn't hop on this one uh, is, of course, uh, it's heading to a mythical land. Uh, so we're going to be um, hopping on, as I say, hopping on this service here, the uh, 5A98, and we're going to be heading towards the end of the line we're going to be stopping at Reading we're then going to move to the train wash and then we're going to park it up here for the evening okay so that's the plan um, what I might do is uh, uh, cutscene this and uh, come back uh, a minute or two before uh, before the train's set to uh, pull out. Uh, all right, so uh, I'll see you guys in about five or six minutes. Uh, okay, while we're uh, sat here waiting for our train um, I'll just go through a couple of things quickly as you can see in the uh, top right hand I've got my frame counter up uh, my in-game settings uh, are um, 40 frames um, and it seems to run quite comfortably at that. We will take a bit of a frame hit once we get to Reading, uh, as you do in Paddington, but um, I don't think it'll be that disruptive. Um, even if it, uh, oh, here's our train. Let's uh, stand up. Um, Uh, 
Um, yep, yeah, so I'll leave the frame counter up so as you can see. I'm using a. Um, ah, there we go. The moonwalkers are now. Uh, are now practicing. Um, I'm using a, an i5 quad. A fairly late series, uh, but I've just recently got myself. I've removed my NVIDIA 770 card and got a 1070 card, uh, which has uh, really made this game playable. Uh, the S CSX Heavy Hall, I could play reasonably comfortably, well, quite comfortably, on. Um, on the 770 but uh, this DLC uh, struggled really badly and I've had the uh, PC for quite a while so I thought Oop, let's get on and let's get in the driver's seat um, okay Come on, where's the door, where's the door? There it is. Uh, okay, we do out in 30 seconds. So let's just put the reverser forwards and let's put the uh, gauge dimmer, let's put the lights on and let's change the headlights to night. Um, and we'll wait for that red to change to green, which it has done. Um, okay, there's no great pressure on us to uh, to go for time, but anyway, um, let's start releasing the brakes. And start heading forwards. I think that that diesel smoke has been added in this new patch, this brand new patch, which, okay, tail lights are on. And front lights are on. Let's go back into cab and let's get uh, cracking. Okay, let's uh, let's also set some external views up. So that's view two. Okay, view three. Let us center view three on the cab. And the lights are out on the uh, for the passengers. So I think I better put those on without further ado. Which I think uh, train lighting on. Let's just check. Train lighting is not on. Let's try that. 
Let's uh, accelerate full speed. Throttle seven. Uh, yep, that seems to have done the trick. Set up rear view. So we've got view two. View two rear. View three cab. Three rear. And of course. Okay, all right, I think we can uh, put the hood away for a while. We've got 15 miles to go. Uh, and also the other driver has left the uh, AWS uh, on, so we've got to respond to that. Okay. And uh, just passing through um, Burnham. All fairly quiet there. Uh, yeah, so uh, as I say, the good thing about this scenario is that there's no great uh, pressure on time constraints. I chose the uh, winter scenario because, uh, of course, the snow uh, at night uh, helps things show up a lot easier. And uh, that's um, Taplow Station we've just come through. I've got the um, uh, AWS responder set up so that uh, obviously uh, I can hear it outside the uh, outside the train for different views. Uh, Maidenhead just passed through uh, better get back into cab uh, okay we're pretty much getting towards uh, our top speed of 90 so I think we'll just ease back Uh, my HUD settings at the moment are just showing, uh, obviously, the um, the main HUD down on the uh, the bottom right, uh, plus uh, my stops in the top left. Uh, as you can see, we're 10 miles away from Reading now, uh, and um, my uh, signals and speed restrictions uh, on the uh, top right 
uh, which are my preferred settings at the moment. Nice clear night tonight. We're looking a bit frosty out. Now I had better get back to the cab and the hood. Uh, because uh, we really need to keep an eye out uh, on the signals now as we get towards Reading. Okay, so um, we've we better start throttling back down again. I'm going to free wheel. Uh, we're now we're now coming up uh, against some yellow signals, and uh, I can't tell whether this is a double yellow. I think it's a double yellow. So we've got a double yellow. So we looks like we're chasing another uh, another train down at the moment. I might just bring our speed back down, or rather my speed back down uh, to 60 miles an hour. See whether I can match the speed of the train in front. I think we've now gone to a single yellow. Yep. And I better get back because our next signal is red. So what I really need to do is hopefully slow down enough that I, uh, I get a signal change. Yep, I got a signal change. Let's throttle back up.
So it looks like we're going to be chasing yellows for a while. Double yellows, so we might increase the speed a bit. So I don't know what's in front of us. Um, maybe a goods train because there's not many station stops. So I don't think it'll be a commuter. So I'm guessing it's a goods train. Might leave the speed at 50. And I think we were due in at 23.41. Uh, so obviously these signals have not helped us. Push the speed back up to 50. Prepare to slow down a little bit more. Uh, yep, we got 40 miles an hour coming up across these. Yep, we're changing. Changing points. into a new track and a mile off reading okay and we'll just drop this down to 30 miles an hour, which is coming up soon.
Actually, it might have been 2348 that we were due in on. So we could actually be due in on time. Uh, costing. Yeah, we're going to get switched again. and switched to our platform. Pretty much stopped on the money. Uh, nicely done, even though I say it myself. Okay, objective complete. Uh, now got to move to the Reading Train Care Depot. And I think we've got to wait for that red signal to turn green. So we might just these forwards and anticipate it. Yep, there it is, yellow. Um, notice the scenario, or rather the service, uh, didn't ask us to unload passengers. Um, I don't know why that is. But anyway, I think we've still got our passengers on board. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they'll be bedding down for the night. Hope you brought your sleeping bags, folks. Uh, okay, I might push the speeding up. Our side in speed will probably be 15 to start off with and then we'll drop to 10 I think so let's bring it up to about 12 miles an hour So, well off the track and into the sidings now. red light coming up and it's now given us a yellow uh, but we've got to drop down to 10 miles an hour anyway so I'll stay at this. Yep, got the all clear to go through.
and we've got to stop coming up here Okay, so, uh, we've completed the service, but we will continue, and we've been given the go-ahead to head to the uh, train wash. Got everybody on board. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, let's uh, release the brake and head out. I'm having to jump back and forwards into the cab, so I've really got to keep an eye out on these signals. Uh, unfortunately, um, they're all coded into the uh, services, uh, so they're not manual. They're not manual signals. Uh, whereas some of the CSS. CSX heavy haul scenarios uh, or rather services um, need you to uh, set the points manually and hopefully we're going to go down the side of this shed and not into it so we've got a red signal at the other end of it And I think we've got to go through the train wash at round about two or three miles an hour. Okay, better apply some brakes here. Oh, yep, we've got the go ahead to pass through. I did think I was going to get some fairly serious frame drops. As you can see, we're dropping to the sort of mid to high 20s and we're flashing red every now and again. Uh, okay, whoops. Let's get, some, let's get some speed down. Uh, okay, three miles an hour. Uh, okay. Drop it to three miles an hour, two and a half.
Okay, yeah, we got some fairly hefty uh, frame drops. As you can see, we're down to about 15 or 16 or so, but it doesn't really seem to be uh, just as long as you keeping the um, keeping the view st still. It's not too bad. And we've got a red light at the end here. Which I, okay, objective is complete. We've washed the train. So we're waiting for that red light. I wonder if we can pass that. Okay, proceed at restricted speed. Okay, will do. So I'm not sure what the restricted speed is, whether it's uh, three miles an hour or not. We won't risk it. We've come this far. Last thing I need is to stuff the scenario up, or rather the service. Passengers still in there. However, train is looking nice and clean. And even though I'm down to 15 frames, or rather I was, we're still looking all right. Oops. Okay, better get back into the cab. Uh, okay. Okay, and this is where all the uh, sleeping DMUs live. Uh, I presume we're going to go into this side, into the right. Yep, about 250 yards, we've got to make a stop. I've really got no idea what's uh, making these frames so bad. I don't know whether it's the presence of a lot of um, a lot of trains, whether moving or not. Uh, anyway, oh, right, okay. Looks like we've got to park in front of this uh, DMU. Third one from the right.
Okay. Objective complete. Uh, now we've got to move 64 yards, coupled to formation as indicated. Um, okay, better have a quick look at the map. Okay, so it looks like we've got a couple onto the front there. All right, fair enough. So better take this at round about two miles an hour, I think. Getting ready to break. I don't think I'm actually coupled. Oh, yep, I am. Okay, usual bits and pieces come up, add in levels and so on and so forth. Continue. I uh, think that that is the end of the scenario, so I guess we should shut down. So, first of all, let's just check and turn the train lighting off. No, hasn't done that. Go again. No. No, doesn't appear to be working. So let's just turn everything off. Uh, reverse it off, locked. Engine. I remember where's the engine button yep engine stop panel lights off cab lights off uh, okay what have we got here nothing apart from the AWS okay can't seem to turn the interior lights off must be a bit of a bug all right anyway I won't stuff around for too long. Let's close the door. Let's get up. Let's get out. There's other sleeping people as well. This must be where the uh, the homeless people of um, the homeless people of Reading must must live. 
Okay, and on that note, uh, I will uh, catch you guys uh, later on. Thanks for watching, as usual. Uh, if you like this, please give me a like. Uh, if not, well, I guess you're going to have to watch uh, somebody else. Okay, cheers, bye.